So, set up here at the Thrunton Long Crag, um, early winter morning. I've set up a meat, five foot midge tip with uh, two serial killers on, 14 foot leader, two fly, seven foot apart. And I'm basically just figure of eighting them around in the breeze with the odd kick. It's quite shallow here, so my flies, they're unweighted flies. So they're only going down about maybe three foot. So we'll get some action. And there we go. Another one falls to the serial killer. Just slow figure of eight. About oh, three foot down on the midge tip. Took it lovely, took the top dropper. Nice fish. Nice fish. And there's the serial killer in its mouth, just in the top lip. And there it is. Just you can see it in the corner of its mouth. So I'm just letting them sink slowly for the first I'm counting down to about ten and then just slowly figure of eight get that squirmy material just just kick it every now and again to get some action into it them colours of the body and the and the action of the of the soft squirmy they just can't resist it Another one, that, I've seen that one taken, it was literally just about two foot under, cracking take. Yet another victim of the serial killer. There she is. Deadly. And there it is, the serial killer. Stuck in the corner of its mouth. Lovely. Another one. Straighten it up. That one's took the top dropper. They're all victims of the deadly serial killer. That one 
took right out just as it hit and jumped I took well out, right out, took the point one again. And another. Happy days. The flies just dropped out. There it is. And there it is. There you go. Well, we've uh, fished around the lake and caught plenty of fish using the serial killer. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is um, use indicator because it works really well under the indicator. So we've got a sliding indicator uh, and then obviously floating line. And then we've got the weighted squirmy with the bead, the weighted serial killer. Uh, you can vary it obviously to whatever depth you're fishing in the lake from shallow to deep. So we'll give that a go and uh, see if we can get a few takes on that. So the fish often fish uh, with the indicator or around the margins, but today they seem to be a bit further out. So we'll try a bit further out with the indicator and we can uh, just keep slowly moving it, giving it the odd kick just to, to get that worm, get those legs moving, see if we can uh, See if we can get the indicator to go under. You can use um, on the bead side of it for the weighted ones. You can use obviously a brass bead, uh, or you can use a tungsten bead as well. Tungsten bead works well on the jig hooks, and it works good. So you can. You can change your bead size and your weight for if you want to control how fast it goes down through the layers. If it's been stationary for a little while, just give it a couple of kicks that lifts the worm up and gets the movement again. Often you get a take uh, as you do when you're straight line after you've given it that little kick. And I just not much I took it on the way down because it uh, it basically just the uh, boom it just sort of sunk down a little bit and then it just shot under. And I definitely took that one. Definitely took it on the drop. nice fish that was only about oh three and a half foot down from the indicator that's a nice fish 
Lovely. There it is. Nice one. Nice fish. Took about three and a half foot down under the indicator. And there's the serial killer. Just an ellipse. Nice one. Another victim. Top lip, there it is. Just, just a barb is straight out. And there it is. And away you go. So I've come on to the top lake for the last hour and uh, the light's a bit different so I've had to change the indicator from a yellow one to a red one so I can see it better because I couldn't see it properly in the uh, in the shimmer on the water. So I've, and this lake's deeper so I've gone down to about uh, nine foot with this aerial killer. We'll see if we can uh, attempt the one or two out of here. So again I'm just doing the same thing, uh, casting out, letting it sink and then once it's settled for a minute or so just give it a couple of kicks, straightens the line up and puts a bit of action into the worm and then just dead slow, really slow figure of eight for a while. Or if it's windy you can let the breeze take it around, kick it. And you're covering, you're covering water slowly and giving a bit of a uh, little bit of action into that uh, worm leg. So I'm just going to fish just on the drop off, which is about there. And that's just sinking down nice and slow there now. Kick. Slowly, ever so slowly. hit it twice and then just buried it two little taps on that one and then the indicator just shot straight under oh helps if you get your net Yeah. 